it would it would just be incredible incredible to win a win, win a fourth tour i mean it's a lot of people say it's 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 just another another number but it's each each tour to me it, it tells a different story is a different different battle in terms of, of getting that yellow jersey and then trying to hold on to it and each each tour is just so unique so i mean to get a to get a fourth victory would just be would just be incredible i don't think this year's course necessarily suits me as as well as uh, previous tour de france uh courses have um, I say that because of the, the lack of uh, mountaintop finishes and also the lack of uh, time trial kilometers. But having said that, it means it's going to be a much closer race, a lot more, a lot more exciting for the fans. And um, I'm just going to have to make sure I'm, I'm absolutely at my best to, to, to take, take advantage of any situations out on the road. This year, I think the, the real key stages are going to be the Izoa. Uh, mountaintop finish, which is our, our biggest mountaintop finish in the in the tour this year, um, over over 2,000 meters. Uh, it's a massive climb. Um, I think there's stage eight or nine, um, quite a hard stage with the final climb up Col de Chat, and then uh, descending down into Chambéry. I think that's going to be a key stage. Um, I don't think this tour is going to be won or lost on one stage. I think it's going to be about the combination of the three weeks put together. It's been going really well. Um, I think I've had a, a slow build up, but that's, that's been part of the plan. Um, I've got a busy summer ahead, obviously the Tour de France being the main goal, but potentially also going on to the Vuelta España um, afterwards as well. So a lot of, a lot of racing still to come. Difficult to name just one rival. I think uh, there are several guys who <clears throat> who are definitely in with a in with a shot of, of winning the tour this year. Um, I'd say um, Richie Port being one of them. Um, Naira Quintana, uh, Roman Bardet who was second last year. Um, can never rule out Alberto Contador. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm certainly going to have my work cut out for me. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, the, the goal is obviously to win, and uh, it's not necessarily about how you win, but if I look, look back at last year's tour and look at some of the, some of the, some of the gambles I took, some of the, the risks I took in terms of going for it on a descent, uh, going for it in the crosswinds with Peter Sagan on a flat stage, which would typically be a bunch sprint. Um, it, it does make things more exciting. And e even for me, I mean, it's, it's, it's fun. It's fun and it, it does bring, bring the racing alive. G, G is one of the most tenacious uh, riders I know. Um, typical Welsh uh, character. But no, I think G's uh, He's just so versatile. What he's done over the last few years, come from the track, um, gone into the classics, and now focusing a lot more on stage racing. Um, it's amazing to see how how he's he's evolved and how um, how he can literally just do anything he wants. Creatos, um had an amazing start to the year, um, winning San Remo, winning Strada Bianca. I think he's he's in he's in amazing shape and also another rider who's very versatile can can really climb climb well when he needs to um, really good classic sense of positioning and being in the right place at the right time um, I think Cuiato is uh, one of those riders who can just almost f fit into any role in the team. Mikel Nieves is a uh, just one of the most loyal domestiques in the peloton. I mean, he's got so much talent himself and has, has won, uh, won big mountain stages himself, but uh, which just shows his, his ability. But nine times out of the 10, he's, he's working for someone else and, and uh, sacrificing his own chances to, to help the team. And um, just an amazing character, just so 
so calming, so it's such a good good part of the group and uh, yeah, just a genuinely nice guy. Sergio Hanau is, is, is an amazing rider. I mean, one of the most selfless guys on the team. Um, also someone else who's riding for, for the team and doing a job nine times out of 10, but his ability, I mean, he won Paranese this year. It just shows what kind of caliber of rider he is. And um, yeah, uh, just great, great part of the group. He doesn't speak much English, but he's learning. And uh, it's, uh, it's great to have him around.